I would like to go over this week's assignment. Here we have a form and two buttons. When you click the calculate MPG and cost of the trip, you will be performing some calculations based on the values that the user has entered. However, you have to check to make sure that the user did enter a value, valid number, that it is not zero, and that it is not less than zero. If the number is not a valid number, you will give the user an error message as a written message on the page. Once, every time you click the button, it will check the values and display all the error messages. So let's take a look at how this works. The first time I click the button, there are no values in the form fields. Therefore, I see three error messages. Now, in the event that I put a valid number in there and I click and I click again, the first error message will disappear. The other ones will stay there. Now, supposing I put a valid number here and I go back and I make my first entry invalid. Notice that I now have an error message for my first field but not for the second. When I make a valid entry in the last field and click the button, that error message goes away. So every time you click the button, we are running through a sequence of code. So when you click the button, you will be calling a function that will be checking the numbers, writing the error messages, and every time you click the button, it goes through that routine, and if the error message is no longer needed, it will remove it. Actually, that's not 100% true. What we're doing is we're actually clearing out the error messages at the beginning of the function. And that is usually what is done in the programming world. That way that everything is cleared out and we're starting from fresh. And if um, an entry is not valid, we will give them a message. Notice that there is nothing else written on the page. If you notice below the clear form button, there is nothing on the page. So now when I say I drove 100 miles and I click, I see my values being written. When you click the calculate button again, and if there is an error, an error, so here again, every time you're clicking the calculate button, it removes any errors, and it's also going to clear out the text underneath. All right, now we didn't have text underneath here to begin with. Now we do. So now when we click, there we go. So it kind of initializes, it starts again, because there is a problem and it's no longer valid. So therefore, we need to clear out any um, information that we displayed because that information is no longer valid. So now I'm going to have used 10 gallons of gas, and maybe I'll say I spent 550, that's an awful lot of money. And here we are. So remember, everything is being written. Now when I click the clear form button, this is not an input type equals reset button. This is another uh, generic uh, button, which is going to call another function. And that function is not only going to clear out the form fields, it will also clear out the text underneath. So here we go.